Dr. Frank Mitlerner is a professor at UC Davis and an air quality extension specialist. Chris Knight continues their compelling conversation about agriculture and the environment. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today, Doctor. Well, thank you for having me. So firstly, if you educated most people, those then who are the, the less fortunate um, would understand that, hey, if everybody makes eggs like the rich people want, then we won't be able to afford eggs. To say, listen, uh, uh, you know, the affordability of our food is, what ha is one of the contributions to making us a great nation. I've done a study here at UC Davis with colleagues uh, at Davis and Michigan State, $14 million, the largest study ever on free-range eggs versus uh, battery caged eggs versus enriched caged eggs. And we looked at how do these three different housing systems, free range versus battery cages versus large enriched cages, how do they compare with respect to environmental impacts, with respect to animal welfare and health, with respect to worker issues, with respect to food safety and financial viability. And our results were so interesting, yet so underreported. And you've got to wonder why, because we've published everything, we've gone through the ringer of academic rigor, and we found that by and large, the worst system with respect to sustainability across all issues was the free range, by far. Yeah. By far. Particularly with respect to animal welfare, by the way. Well, imagine they're just food for, for the natural predators. <laughs> no, no. Free range does not mean that animals are outside. Free range means they are inside a barn, but out of cages. They are not in cages. If you give them the choice to be in a barn or go outside, and I ask you to just go visit some of these places, there are a few places that offer the choice to the chickens to stay in the barn or walk through that gate and go outside. I have never once seen chickens going outside. The consumer thinks that's what they want. The consumer, unfortunately, is not right about that. I want to thank you today for joining us. I think that uh, our eyes are a lot more open uh, now after having this conversation with you. It makes me very happy. Thank you for coming and I appreciate it. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. And that has been Pork Chops and Applesauce, quite an education. Thank you for joining us.